A lot of unhealthy air that we breathe could be coming from the bed of the Great Salt Lake. Well, researchers from Utah State University are working to figure out what's being blown our way from the lake bed. As news specialist Mike Anderson explains, it doesn't look good at all. Mike? Yeah, Dan, that's the case. You know, that wind blows all those fine particulates uh, into the air, and with historic low levels out there, researchers are finding things that uh, you, wouldn't, you may not expect. Uh, chemicals that were banned over 50 years ago, and they say it's important that we know what's out there. What those winds blow up from here could be part of a big problem. As a terminal lake, Great Salt Lake accumulates pollution from across its entire watershed. Molly Blakowski, a PhD student from Utah State University, says there's a little bit of a lot of things in there. And now with more exposed lake bed than ever, researchers are getting a good look at what's in all of that dust. It's kind of like a bathtub without a drain. For over a century, the lake bed sediments have been slowly accumulating byproducts of human activities. Over the last three years, they've been using collection devices to analyze the particulates that get into the air. After three years of collecting dust on the dry lake bed of what used to be Farmington Bay, we've seen that the dust may contain elevated levels of potentially toxic heavy metals and man-made organic contaminants. Lukowski points out, we already know particulate matter is bad for our lungs. But we don't know what the synergistic effect of breathing in arsenic and cyanotoxins and flame retardants at the same time. Janice Brainy, the assistant professor overseeing the project, says that's where they're hoping the data they gather will eventually lead. So we need to identify how rapidly it deteriorates during transport um, and what the spatial and temporal dynamics of, of that type of emission is. And ideally, they say toxicologists and public health experts could take the data they're gathering. Who could help us understand what did this composition mean for human health? And those researchers also looking into how all those contaminants affect the food that we eat as they look at how it gets into our uh, nearby farms and ranches. And they're also trying to determine where all of those contaminants are coming from. Back to you.